Hey. <coughs> um, is this blood? Does this look like blood to you? Or am I just tripping? Bloody footprint? You see this right here? Could possibly be blood. Hmm. Hey, who did that? Hi, Taylor, how's it going? Officer Russell with the Green Bay Police Department. This is 25-year-old Taylor Shabiznis. She is charged with the murder and dismemberment of her boyfriend, Shad Tyrion. It was said that she choked her boyfriend to death during intercourse which he thought was meant to be kinky. When officers arrived at her house, they uncovered Shad's dismembered body parts and subsequently arrested Taylor. Now, we will witness how Taylor, who is diagnosed with bipolar disorder and psychosis, recounts her brutal case. You two being intimate having sex. It was getting there. It was getting there, okay. So will this be considered poor play? Yeah. Yeah, it was. And then, um, I don't know. And then, um, I just didn't stop. I don't know why. I didn't stop. Taylor just confessed that she committed the crime, claiming that she lost control of herself during intercourse and accidentally killed her boyfriend. You guys done something like this in the past? Not like that. Do you use manual strangulation during sex at all? Does no. shed like that? Um, a manual strangulation? Yes, 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 yes. yes. He likes strangulation? You know what I'm yes, talking he does, about? Yes, he does. Yeah. Yeah, I do. And you do too, or just him? Both of us. So, what would you. So, when's the last time you guys had sex besides potentially this oh. morning? You mainly me, but like, you didn't even get it. Like, um, I'm sorry, but we didn't even get it. Okay, so you didn't. Alright, but when's the last time you did do it? I mean, and what would you guys like to do? Is there a certain role playing that you did with Chad, or was it just some sort of strangulation? How would you guys um, do your have, basically have sex? Like, I just want to, um, we just, so, yeah, and we, uh, go, otherwise. Mm -hmm. But does, does anybody, like, strangle the other person? I like doing that a lot. Alright, so you like being strangled, like having it, your, your airway, or do you like doing it to somebody else? I like doing it to somebody else. Does she have, like to be strangled? The detective attempts to establish whether the strangulation was intentional by referencing her past experiences of intercourse. If he finds any irregularity in Taylor's replies, he might flag it and confront her. So when he, when he put the chain on his neck, he thought that you guys were going to have kinky sex. Right? You think that's what Chad was thinking, maybe? Yeah. What were you thinking? I was going to do the same thing. You know, I was going in, and I did. And I went in. But then he was like, choke me. But he didn't really say it, so I'm like, oh. he put it on his back. I already know I'm going to choke him. And I did. Taylor has admitted that a dog chain was used during intercourse, which was later used to strangle her boyfriend. He likes it. So, and I was gonna walk him like a dog. And he wanted that? I have no idea what I was gonna do it anyway. There was a ring, and there was two rings, and then like you can pull the chain link oh, from okay. under the ring and then pull it back. Alright, so then a loop at the end of the chain that could go around kind of like a dog choke collar? Yeah, exactly. Okay, do you think it was a dog choke collar? Could have been. Very much so. Was it that size? It was that size. What size? Was it like a dog 
of chain or a large block type of chain, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So silver chains. Yes. And he had two of them. Yes. What'd you guys do with them? We put them around their necks. You did. Okay. And then what were you doing while they were around their necks? I strangled. I was strangling them. You were strangling them? Yeah. Taylor claims that she was unaware that her boyfriend was dying as she was strangling him with the chain and continued strangling him, thinking that he was fine and enjoying it. So when did you realize that Shed was not alive anymore? Um, you know, his face turned purple. Okay. He was coughing off the and he was pissing himself. He was pissing himself. His face was all purple. I still didn't stop him. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the blood was in So his blood was coming out of his mouth? I have a feeling his heartbeat. Hearing his heartbeat. I'm sorry? Hearing his heartbeat. Okay. Did you hear it stop? No. Okay. No. Okay. No. So. I'm going to try to do that. Do you figure he was dead then? Yeah. The chain goes around his neck and you started choking him. And you just realized that he was going to die or what? I'm just like, I think I went a little too far because like, like I, I was blacking out while I was doing it, right? And then I like, thought, oh. and then like, I look at him, I'm like, shit, he's already purple. I'm like, fuck him. I'm like, I don't know if he's fucking, is he good? Is he good? But then like when I woke up, like, you know, I, during the blackout moment, I'm like, shit. Like he was coughing up blood. I'm like, I don't know. I just kept on going. Like, yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. You made the comment. You said that when you were choking, you was coughing up blood. You kind of were like, "Yeah, I'm going this far. I'm just gonna keep going." Did you realize that by continuing that, that pain killed him? Oh well, yeah, because I felt bad that he's like, because I'm like, damn, he's gonna be the reason after this. I'm like, I might as well just kill him. Taylor admitted that after seeing that her boyfriend is dying. She thought to herself that she might as well just kill him, indicating that she has the intention of killing the boyfriend and that the crime was not accidental. I think you, you, you may also said that you enjoyed it, right? And I enjoyed it. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. What'd you enjoy about that? I'm just, it's was it kind of thrilling, a rush, exciting? Mm -hmm. What was the feeling that you got out of it? That's all. It, that's all it is. Um, I, I'm just trying to understand what you were feeling you're saying that you were yeah, like it's joy. Was, you know, did it make you happy? Was it just kind of exciting? Like opening Christmas presents? Like, or? I don't know. It's, like, this is, a, this is a thing that I have, like, I've always had, you know, like, you ever love something so much that you kill it? Like, it, it happens to me. That's the feeling that I have. I love something so much that I kill it. Like, I kill it so much and then I kill it. That's what happens to me. Taylor also admits that she found the process of killing amusing and claimed that she loved it so much that she just did it without hesitation. This is a sign that Taylor might suffer from certain mental illnesses that caused her to act impulsively and kill. You said that she played with his penis? Yeah. After he was dead? Oh, yeah. Was it erect? It was half. It was half. Did you? Even, yeah, even. What did you do with his penis? Based on what Taylor did to her boyfriend's corpse, she might be handed another charge for sexual assault. I it off. Did okay. you ever place it in your vagina or any of your body parts? No, I just. You didn't use it as a dildo or anything? Fuck. You said you cut his head off first, correct? Um, yeah. Can you describe where it was he at laying on the bed? I pulled him. Okay. Like, say this is the bed. Okay, so this is the top of the bed? Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, I pulled him, and then uh, his head was hanging off. So, so he was probably laying face up? So yeah. So his back was on the bed. His back was on his the bed. His head's partially off the bed. Yeah. Okay. And then um, the tub was, like, right there. Like, the pail that you had the yeah. head before? Okay. 
So basically, it's heads here, no pockets right here. Yeah, and then um, from there, uh, I think that's what it is. He cut his head off. Yeah. Okay. Taylor is about to recall a gruesome scene without showing much emotion, suggesting that she might suffer from psychopathy and hence lack the empathy to understand the severity of her actions. How did you just know where his body was? With what? Knives, 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 knives. Knives? Just more than one knife? Well, where'd you get those from? Kitchen. Just not by mine, I wasn't sharp enough. You weren't sharp? No, no. It was alright. Bread knife works good. Bread knife? A bread knife works good, yeah. Really? I had to use what I do, so like, yeah. I got lazy last night, so, yeah. So you dismembered the body too? Yeah. Well, what did you do with the body parts? Oh, they're, um, they're in the house. Somewhere? They're like, um, yeah. yeah. Basement, upstairs, yeah, downstairs? Absolutely in the basement. Out the ground room with them. And then, um, I know I forgot the head. I wanted the head. Did and you bring anything with you? Yeah, it's in the van. What? It's in the van. It's, um, what is it? With what she revealed in the interrogation, Taylor was eventually found guilty of her crimes and was given a life sentence. If you are interested in more videos of interrogations, do subscribe to my channel and check out my other works. Thank you.